Hi everyone, this is Amit Naik, Technical Marketing Manager at Thousand Eyes. Let's review the Amazon Route 53 DNS outage that happened this morning that impacted uh, a lot of subscribers of Amazon's uh, DNS service. What we're looking at here is a uh, Thousand Eyes DNS server test that is querying the authoritative uh, DNS servers, which in this case are all uh, a part of the Route 53 service. And we can see at this point in time that some of these servers are not replying. And you can see on the map that it's happening, happening from a number of different locations across North America. So let's jump into the path visualization network view to understand what's going on. And sure enough, at this point in time, we see packet loss corresponding to uh, that outage. And the network view tells us something interesting. So it looks like there are a few different locations across North America that are unable to connect to Amazon's uh, DNS, unable to reach Amazon's DNS servers. And other locations are able to get to it just fine. So this kind of looks like a fragmented network picture. And most of the traffic is ending up at this uh, network called Enet in Columbus, Ohio. And it's just uh, kind of dying there, right? And if you look at this particular red node as well, that is on this exact same network on a different IP address and, and traffic is just terminating at this point. So why is this happening and what's going on? So let's take a look at the Thousand Eyes BGP route visualization to give us a picture of what's going on in here, right? So what we're seeing in this case is that there is a slash 24 network prefix that's present on the internet for the uh, address range covering Amazon's DNS servers. And there's also a slash 23. So the slash 23 is actually the proper route announced by Amazon to the world. And that's how everybody's able to reach Amazon. But the slash 24 is a more specific route and it's being announced from a few, from one particular location uh, to a couple networks. So if you come back over here, it's being announced by this network, which we call, uh, which we uh, looked at earlier called Enet. And it's being propagated to the internet through a couple networks, one of them being Hurricane Electric. Hurricane Electric is a large tier one ISP, uh, very, very well connected across uh, many internet providers, right? So anybody that's uh, connected to Hurricane Electric uh, would, would think this is the shortest path to get to the Amazon DNS servers and uh, would not be able to reach them eventually. So why was this done? So uh, the best uh, explanation is that this was a BGP hijack and somebody with malicious intent uh, you know, took control of this network down, uh, down here and announced this route uh, to all of the uh, tier one ISPs and was able to successfully do that with, with some of them. And as a result, was actually able to, to suck in traffic destined for Amazon's DNS services. And once they've sucked in that traffic, they're actually able to spoof certain websites and spoof certain responses and kind of redirect traffic to, uh, to other places than where it's supposed to go to uh, with malicious intent. So that's the most likely explanation of what, uh, what happened here. And how do you protect yourself against this? So a couple things, right? So number one, definitely, uh, you know, if you if you buy a DNS service from a provider, definitely monitor the infrastructure so you can understand when it's down and you can kind of get root cause pretty quickly. Uh, but also you can set up alerts in Thousand Eyes that'll give you a warning when there is a BGP hijack event like this. And when your prefix is being announced by somebody that uh, that is not you and they're trying to steal your traffic, you would get an alert pop up in, that, in your system, right? So these are a couple of ways to uh, protect yourself against uh, BGP hijacks and DNS hijacks. Thank you.